In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transform a basic oversized sweater into a trendy sweater vest. Also, stick around to the end to see how I repurpose the leftover sleeves. Before we get into it, here's what you'll need. First, we need to remove the sleeves and open the side seams. This is actually really easy to do once you find the seam and clip the right threads. Fun fact, not all sweaters are handmade. For the ready-made ones, each part of the sweater is individually knitted by machine, then sewn together using a chain stitch. That said, grab your seam ripper and pull out a small section of the chain stitch. Then pull on the loose thread until you find the right one. It's a little tricky to find, but once you do, with just a little tug, the entire seam will unravel. It's better to do it this way than cutting into the sweater, or it'll start to fall apart. After removing the sleeves and opening the side seams, we're going to make a couple adjustments. If your sweater is oversized like mine, it's likely that the armhole drops off the shoulder. So try on your vest and fold under the excess until the armhole sits at the shoulder point. Add a few wonder clips to keep it in place. Lay out your vest to finish folding and securing the rest of the sides. Now take your grow grain ribbon and pin it along the edge, leaving about a half inch hanging over the hem. Pin the ribbon on just the top layer. Do this for both sides of the vest from front to back. Don't cut the ribbon from the roll just yet. You may need a little extra when sewing because the knit is so stretchy. After pinning, unfold the sides and make any necessary adjustments. Now we're gonna sew along the inner edge of the grow grain ribbon. If you want to add ties at the sides of your vest, this is when you do that. Add one at the front and back under the inner side of the grow grain ribbon at the waist. When sewing, hold the fabric firmly and guide it through as you go to prevent the knit from stretching out. Once you've gone to the other end, cut the ribbon a half inch from the hem. Next, lift the ribbon and cut away the excess, leaving roughly a quarter inch allowance. Afterwards, turn the end of the ribbon inwards before turning over the ribbon onto the wrong side of the vest. From there, pin and sew the other side of the ribbon in place. When sewing, start from the outer edge to secure the end of the ribbon as shown before finishing the other side. Pinch sections as you sew to prevent the knit from stretching. And there you have it. I was going for a clean look so I didn't add ties to my vest, but instead I went with heavy duty snaps. I won't go into how I installed them, but the kit I used come with instructions on how to do so. Initially, I thought of doing a matching sweater vest for my daughter, but I really wanted to use up much of the sleeves. After playing around with ideas, I settled on doing an overall instead. To execute the design, I first pinned the sleeves together with wander clips, then fold them in half to locate the center front. From the top down, I measured and marked 16 inches for the crotch, then drew an arch freehand for the inseam. As for the leg openings, I measured and marked 7 inches across the bottom, then connected it to the top for the side seams. Afterwards, I sewed following the lines before removing the excess and serging the edges. To make the straps, I used strips of the sweater and a cotton fabric. Using a tightly woven fabric helped to stabilize the knit and reduce bulk. It was also helpful when sewing the buttonholes. 
lastly I sewed the straps to the back of the overall attached the buttons and that was it I hope you found this video helpful leave a comment below and let me know what you think thanks for watching until next time I gotta admit, they do look better on you. <laughs> <laughs>